Welcome to the C-Suite at the Open Video Series with TMX Group. I'm Arnie Goldstein, the Head of Company Services based out of Vancouver. Joining me today is Alex Black, the CEO of Rio2 Limited. Alex, welcome. It's great to have you here today. Hi, Arnie. Good to see you. And um, thanks for the invite. Absolutely. Uh, let's get right into it. And uh, what are the three most important things that you want investors to know about Rio2 right now? Um, well, we've got a fantastic opportunity in Chile, um, a tier one jurisdiction from a mining perspective. Uh, we have the largest undeveloped gold heap leach project in the Americas located in Chile. It's called the Phoenix Gold Project. It has 5 million ounces of measured and indicated resources and also uh, an additional 1.4 million ounces of inferred resources. So it's quite big. It's, it ranks in the top 10 gold discoveries in the last 10 years. So it's very important from that perspective. Um, the other point is management. Uh, we have a first class Latin Spanish speaking or a, a Latino Spanish speaking uh, management team uh, based here in Lima, Peru. That's where I'm calling you from. Uh, I've been living in Lima for 20 years. I'm with the management team. Um, and our team has built two gold oxide heap leach projects in the last 10 years when we were with the old Rio Alto. That's why we, we call our company Rio2. Um, mm -hmm. And um, so we've got the same team and we're going to execute uh, this time in, in Chile. And thirdly, we have very strong support locally in the Maracunga region, Atacama region as well of, of Chile. Um, we're located near to the uh, the city of Copiapo, we're about 140 kilometers from Copiapo. Copiapo is a mining uh, town. We've got buy-in from the locals who are very keen to get it, see this project get get going um, from the local communities. So, so they're the three key factors I think that um, uh, people should be aware of in relation to uh, Rio 2 and our story. Well, that's a great summary, Alex. Um, what are some near-term catalysts or events um, that uh, investors should be looking for in terms of the progress? Um, near-term catalysts are that we filed our EIA back in April of, um, of this year. We're now in the EIA approval process. Um, also, people always ask me about permitting. Permitting starts when you file the EIA. There are hundreds of permits that you need for a mining project in Chile. So it's quite a process and you just methodically go through and, and uh, apply for various permits that relate to the uh, construction and operation of the mine. Um, so that's happening. Now, the other thing is that entering into next year, which is uh, probably around April, May, we're gonna have to start making lead order purchases for uh, equipment, etc., for the project. We're building an ADR plant, it's quite simple. Our capital is quite low. It's around $120 million, so it's not a lot of money. But we're gonna to have to start to put our financing options in place between now and April, May next year. Um, the um, so, so we're really you know different to a lot of other companies because there's not too many companies in the junior sector of, of, of the Canadian listed uh, uh, juniors that are going to be building mines in the next 12 to 24 months, and we're one of them. So it's it's methodically going through that process. Um, and, uh, you know, we've, we've achieved quite a few milestones in the last couple of years, and now it's financing and getting ready for construction next year. Fantastic. What is the, uh, how would you sum up the investment proposition for Rio2? Well, Rio2, um, I'm, I'm not sure why, but we're probably in the lower quartile or lower third of um, comparable valuations in relation to other companies that have development assets. And once again, most of them are development assets that are many years away from from um, uh, you know our project as far as getting into into production. Out where where. Um, guiding that gold production will start in the second half of 2022 with construction starting next year. 
So um, we're not getting the we're not getting the recognition yet. Uh, we're not sure why. We're, you know, we're we're um, you know telling the story as often as we can. But I think you know when you're in this when you're in this quiet time, we're not drilling holes and coming up with sexy drill results. You know. The, the, the 10 meters at 30 grams and all that sort of thing that, that a lot of people are getting, particularly retail investors get excited about. Um, you know, we're in this boring build uh, period of our, our life life cycle. So I think the closer we get to the construction phase, particularly when we, when we announce that we've got our financing in place, that we're moving ahead to construction and that we can see the light at the end of the tunnel for production, I think you'll see a, a, a gradual, um, you know, change in in, in, in people's interest in, in, in what we're doing. So all we got to do, and I keep saying this, you know, is execute and deliver. We've got to put our heads down and just just work as hard as we can and get this thing into production. But unlike a lot of juniors, as you know, a lot of juniors in the markets are getting themselves hopefully ready to be taken out by somebody. Uh, that's not us, and um, we're building a mining company, um, and obviously that's a lot different to what a lot of other companies have as a strategy. Alex, thanks for joining me today and uh, hope to see you on the market soon. Yeah, Arnie, I really appreciate your time and uh, and uh, anybody can contact me. I like to give out my email address, alex.black at rio2.com. Please, if you're an investor and you want to get it straight from me, get any clarity on what we're doing, feel free to write to me and I will always answer your emails. Thanks. Fantastic. I love it when a CEO is accessible. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Always accessible. Thanks, Arnie.